Good morning internet. This is going to be a bit of a different kind of video. I'm actually making it in response to a challenge from a British YouTuber called The Tim Traveller who issued a challenge to climb your nearest mediocre mountain. Now Tim's channel is a really cool travel channel which is all about visiting the strange and quirky lesser known attractions of Europe and one of the things he's best known for is his mediocre mountains where he goes to very flat places and mounts expeditions to climb their highest peaks which are usually a few meters above sea level they're always really fun to watch so when he said he wanted to put together a compilation of people all over the world climbing their nearest mediocre mountain, I thought that would be fun to take part in. So this is my contribution to that effort. Except I live in New Zealand. I can see the Southern Alps from my window. Well, on a clear day, it's raining today, so I can't. Our highest peak is Araki Mount Cook. And that's the kind of mountain that serious mountaineers die on so I'm not going climbing that one and I don't think it qualifies as mediocre anyway okay so let's narrow it down then Canterbury ah it's still a Rocky Monk cook uh, well that's okay I live in Christchurch Christchurch is a city that's well known for being flat except for the boundaries of Christchurch City technically include Banks Peninsula and that means our highest point is Mount Herbert which is still high enough to be a reasonable challenge for even serious hikers and it's winter and it's raining and I don't want to climb Mount Herbert <laughs> It's okay though, Tim said we should stay local. So I'll find the highest point in my suburb. Now that's more like it. It's about 20 minutes walk away. So time to go get equipped for the big climb. one of these handy mountain shelters that the local council has erected but I think I'm good to continue
read it. Okay, I'm pretty certain if I've read the map right that this is the highest point in Burnside. Or at least it was. Because when I looked at the elevations map, I just trusted what it said. And they obviously haven't updated their map in a few years because I think that is now the highest point in Burnside. The State Highway 1 overpass, which was completed last year, I think. And it's noticeably higher than where I'm standing right now. It's a motorway, so I'm not sure if I'm allowed to climb those banks. I maybe could climb to the top of one of those banks and just not go onto the motorway itself. I think as long as I don't cross the barrier, then I'm not on the motorway, so I'm not technically breaking the law. Let's see if anyone tells me off. Did someone come and bail me out, please? can legally get to. The view is not bad. I tried to find an official height for that overbridge, but I couldn't find anything. The closest I could get was a news report from when it was built saying that the arches are 27 metres high. Just looking at it visually, I'm guessing then the road is probably about 10 metres high. That little mound that I thought was the highest point in Burnside is about 5 metres above the road level. And according to the elevation map, it's 39 metres above sea level. So I'm guessing the top of the overbridge is probably around 45 metres above sea level. Let's say it's that. My house where I started from is 21 metres above sea level. So I climbed the impressive height of 24 metres in my ascent. I think we can call that a truly mediocre mountain.